Hashtag Team CCI International. Hashtag CCI NEJC CCM Vapors United. Mr. Marquis, thank you for the call out. CCI International, Mr. Braders, thank you for the call out. You're doing a great job. Okay? Great job. Two thumbs up. Mr. Vu, asking questions. It's great. You're asking questions. You're trying to discover how to blow massive clouds. You're on the right track. Okay? It doesn't look like you have any dirty habits. Uh, like the body boner and stuff like that. And, and I know I'm an asshole, but you don't need to do any of that crap. You just need to tighten your diaphragm up by sucking in your gut. And then when you inhale, you just fully inhale everything that you possibly can. Now, the, the, fi the five-second rule where they're, you know, they're going to be counting to five seconds, realistically, you don't need to inhale for five seconds. <clears throat> let, me, let me demonstrate. A huge tip, though, before I blow a cloud. Um... You need something to drink, something that you enjoy, something that gets the saliva going in your mouth, okay? As you inhale and exhale, the VGPG is going to stay in your mouth and your throat, and it's going to prohibit you from taking as much vapor as you possibly can. There are some people that say that I'm wrong in this factor, but they're wrong because it, you, it's like having a loogie or, you know, a frog in your throat. You can't get, it, you can't get rid of it. It's the exact same principle because this stuff is coating your mouth. Okay, it's it's VGPG. It's in fucking everything. I mean everything. Okay, it's hilarious. The FDA wants to ban this because it's evil, and yet VGPG is in this. Okay, how do they how do they get the flavor to, to stay in the fluid? Okay, without the flavoring going to the bottom. I remember a long time ago, you would buy drinks like this, and there'd be shit in the bottom, and you would have to shake them. Okay, you don't have to do that anymore with like 99% of stuff that you, you drink because it's all in there because it has VGPG in there. Okay. I mean, literally that's all the flavorings and stuff like that. It's all like VGPG based and whatnot. It's all the same flavorings. It all comes from the same place. It's exactly what this is. Okay. It, it's exactly the same thing. Only this is a giant thing of mostly water. Okay. This is just oil more or less. That's what it is. I like doing like a swish in my mouth, try and clean that stuff out, <clears throat> take a good swallow, and get myself ready for the cloud, okay? You want to have your airflow really nice, like where you want it to be, and then leave it there. Never make the mistake of closing off one side of your airflow. I did that and lost three grand, okay? <coughs> I think my life would be completely different if I'd won that cloud comp, okay? So... You're inside of the count, right? You're, you're up there, you're standing there, you're confident in what you're about to do, you've been practicing, you know, you've got a good build, you've got your mod, your battery, everything's all set up correctly and it's working well, and he begins counting. Normally, the, the more official cloud comps that I've gone to, the count is 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? Like, that, that's the official, more or less the official way of doing it, and it's hardcore, okay, and extremely fair because it gives you enough time to mentally prepare for what you're about to do like th this is a sport and it does take skill to do this Be for distance and density okay not really for pushing pushing isn't doesn't take that much skill in my opinion anyway the count three two one one two three when the, when i hear three I begin inhaling on this build, okay? So, three. Okay? Like this. That's how I do it. And then I go over, and I redrip. Okay? <coughs> Maximum amount of juice on the coil. Like, do I have another cloud in there? Yeah. Is it the best cloud that I could possibly blow? No. In, your, in a comp setting, you're always going to be redripping anyways. Um, I've had the, the pleasure of being in quite a few different uh, cloud comps, and there's been kids that have not redripped, and I, I haven't even, like, if they're against me, I won't even go up there. I'll look at them and go, you need to redrip. And they'll be like, oh, I'm fine, and I'm like, I'm about to beat you. You need to redrip. And I'm not trying to be an asshole. Some, some kids have been like, you know, whatever, and then I beat them into the ground, but... You want to have that, again, that, that, that baseline, you know, taking a drink, keep getting yourself fresh, 
dripping up and making sure you're fully dripped and fully ready for what you're about to do. Like, you, I mean, you, you don't walk around with an unloaded gun. That's just stupid. You, you have to have a loaded gun, right? I mean, that's, that's the way it is. So he's counting, right? Three, two, one. Some people say purge. Some people don't. One, two, three. And then I go for it. At least for outlaw. Now your exhale... You want to think about your exhale <clears throat> like a hose, okay? Like a fire hose. The water pressure, okay, comes out at a steady water pressure, right? It, it, it explodes out there, and then it holds on to that explosion. It holds on to that power, and it continues going, right? Now, in cloud chasing, you know, other than doing the push method, <clears throat> which is gay, but doing a, a full continuous cloud, okay, you have to let the cloud mature, okay? That initial explosion is what is propelling your cloud, but then you have to hold on to that explosion as much as you can and allow it to keep going, keep pressing it out, okay? And it's semi-hard to do. It's something that you've got to practice and, and really get into your first nature. It's kind of, it's just breathing, okay? Like what I've done in my life is literally... As I'm talking, as I'm breathing, I always take an inhale and exhale, okay? I mean, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm doing all the time in my day-to-day -day life. Uh, that's how far I've taken it, like martial arts or anything like that, okay? Like, I mean, you really want to get your baseline and then go for it, okay? You get a good build, you're pushing power and stuff like that. You practice on it, and you know again, this is eighteen. This is eighteen gauge, eleven and a half wraps on a three sixteen spit. I've got cotton bacon V two in here. Um, you know we're firing at seven volts at five hundred and forty six amps. It's a lipo mod, <clears throat> and you know that your inhale has to be respectful of how much you can take and how much power your mod is producing. Okay, you want to bump fire, and you bump fire. All you need to do is make the thing start vaping by itself and your coils are hot, okay? At that point, it's just the way it's going to be. You know what I mean? Like, there's no, you don't have to purge at all. All you have to do is inhale, you know, hold that button down, and, and inhale. The purge is a beginning, okay? Sometimes stagnant vape hurts when you inhale it. Where I, you know, I purge a little bit. So you've got the count. One, two, three. You know what I'm saying? And then you do it again. Every single time, I, you know, I, I'm in competition with myself. I'm standing back to back with myself, and I'm doing the same thing over and over and over again. Okay, so, you know, one, two, three. <clears throat> I also blow clouds 90 degrees and horizontal. <coughs> in some competitions, it's better to blow at 45 degrees. It depends on what kind of draft you've got. It depends on where you are, in, in like located. You know what I mean? It depends on if you're in a convention with this giant room and there's no way for you to stop any drafts and stuff like that. Then you've got to pay attention to what other people are doing, how their clouds are blowing with certain factors, and how you know people moving around and stuff like that. Um, there's there's so many different factors to think about, but realistically, for you know, I, I don't know. I've tried to science this shit. I've tried to go as far as I possibly can. I mean, really, as far as I possibly can. So you're inside that count. He's counting. <clears throat> the moment he hits three, you blow. You, you, you know, you go. <clears throat> I move a little bit. Not very much. But I move forward, and I'm actually, you know, preparing myself to press with my whole body and my will to make that thing go that way, okay? <coughs> Let's go again. That, that little cough that I just did is because I've got, <coughs> I've got VGPG in the back of my throat. This is going to reduce how much I can inhale, literally, because your throat will actually clench a little bit because you get extra VGPG in there. You're trying to breathe oil, literally. It's not bad for you. 
It's good for your cardio cardiovascular health. It's also good for your pulmonary health. Vaping. It literally literally is. Okay. <coughs> so you're inside the count. He hits three. And you blow a cloud. You want to try and be inside that count. You want to have your cloud going at the proper time and, you know, as, as well as you possibly can. And, and again, this is going to take practice. You might not win. You know, you, you, might, you might lose, but it doesn't matter. It's all experience. You take everything, everything you can and you put it together in a package and you continue going with it. It's, the same, it's like any kind of sports or anything that you do. You have to keep going and keep trying over and over and over again. A lot of it is confidence. You know, it's not the confidence I'm going to beat everybody, you know, F you. It's the confidence in what you're doing and your ability and how well you know yourself and how well your cloud chasing has been progressing, okay? It's very, very easy to get into the head games and you choke. That's what you need to get around. You don't want to choke. You want to have your, your, your drink. You want to you want to swish around in your mouth, clean yourself out, <clears throat> swallow. Make sure your throat is nice and prepped, and then you go for it. You know what I'm saying? Like I mean, these these tips have. I'm 40 and two in in cloud comps. Um, I don't lose very often. When I do lose, I take it as I did, and I look at it and what can I do better? How can I solve the problem? Why did I lose? I got to this point and I got beat. Sweet, I got beat. How how do I get past that. How do I beat him next time? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's a duel. And, you know, that's how far I've gone with it. I hope these tips and, and tricks help you in your cloud chasing, everybody. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. I hope it's not too long. Hashtag Team CCI International. Hashtag Shots Fired. Clouds down.